week's video I'm going to share with you how to create a christening tree and cake topper and that's coming right up. for you guys to come along and see how I created it. I made it using fondant, although you can use gum paste, modeling paste, rice crispy treats or even Fimo clay. It's so easy to make so let's get started. So I'm making this little tray and using some fondant icing and I've taken out a large clump of it. <laughs> a large piece of it. I've rolled it into a giant kind of sausage shape and now we're just going to cut it into a rectangle. This is going to be the main bottom part of your tray. And now you can add some tylose powder to this, but I didn't bother because it's so big. It is going to be sturdy. And we're going to cut off the front part at an angle. I'm using some baby blue food gel, colouring gel, and we're going to colour our fondant. Take another piece of fondant and colour it into a baby blue shade. Just mix that through your icing. And now we're going to do the same kind of thing as we've done with the big part of the tree and we're going to roll out a giant thick piece but instead of cutting it into a rectangle, well it's not a square but it's not as big a rectangle as the other piece. This is going to be the back of the tree. Measure some skewers and stick those into the main base of your tree for support and slide that down. Now you want your edges to be nice and sharp so don't push it down with your fingers. If you need to push it in, use a ruler or something flat because you want to keep your edges of this train nice and sharp. And now we're going to create the round piece of the train using baby blue as well. And you're just going to work with it until you get it into a nice round shape. And again, we're going to use the ruler to sharpen out the edges. I really must get a proper, <laughs> I've seen these kind of stainless steel ruler type things. I really need to get more to cake decorating tools. But I don't know about you, I'm running out of space. I've, I've got two cupboards in my house full of cake decorating stuff. So I try not to buy anymore because I've nowhere to put it. So now I'm cutting out a piece. This is gonna be for the front part where we cut at an angle. And you're going to just cut the sides of that into an angle. And then we're going to create some lines using our ruler. And if you're enjoying this tutorial, give it a little like. It helps me know what kind of thing that you like. And if there's anybody that you know that's into cake decorating or likes working with fondant, why not share this tutorial with them as well? So we're sticking this onto the front part of our tree. And now we're going to create the wheels. So roll out a piece of blue fondant and cut out some circles using a circle cutter. I think I cut out 14 circles in total because I'm going to show you how to make the little trailers as well. And use a smaller circle cutter to create a circle on the inside of the wheel and then use a knife tool or a knife and just create some lines in the middle of your little wheel. So do this with all of your wheels and set them to the side to dry. And now we're creating some strips here. So roll out some white fondant and create some strips and you can't really see what I'm doing here but I've got a star plunger cutter and I'm just creating some star a star design on that strip so we're going to stick all these three strips onto our it's going to say cake onto our train cake topper and now we're going to create a large circle piece for the front of the tree and now I didn't have a circle cutter that was the right size so I had to rummage through my cupboards and find something so I used a champagne glass and then use a smaller circle cutter to cut out a blue circle and create a little star in the middle of it as well. And stick that onto the front of your tree and you can see it's starting to take shape now. So roll out a, another thick snake piece of fondant. This is going to be our funnel. And again work with it until you get it into a nice neat circle cylinder type shape. Use some edible glue and a cocktail stick for support and stick that on. 
So we're going to create a trim for around the top of the funnel and the back part of the tree and it'll just take that sort of blank look off it. So just cut two pieces into a strip. I've put a blue strip on the white funnel and I'm going to put a white strip onto the blue part just for a little bit of contrast. So we're going to make some nice white fluffy steam clouds now. So two snake pieces of fondant, cut them into maybe three or four different sized squares and then roll these into little fondant balls. And once you've got all your balls rolled, <laughs> then start sticking them into your funnel. And once you've got maybe five or six little pieces into your base, take some wire, cut it to size and insert that into the funnel leaving maybe two inches sitting out and then we're going to take some more of our balls sorry i didn't realize the top piece of this wire was in shot here but i think i come around to fixing that in a minute there we go <laughs> so just keep adding your pieces on and you can see i've made them smaller as the wire goes to the top Fill in the rest of your cake topper with the balls and then we're going to stick the wheels on. So I'm going to use my star plunger cutter again and just put some little white stars in the centre of the wheels and create some trailers or tenders as my little boy would call them. He's choo choo train mad. You can actually see a Thomas the Tank Engine train cake topper tutorial that I made. I'll link it above here. That was for his birthday there and he loved it. So you're gonna just roll out four equal pieces of fondant and then we're using our ruler to straighten those edges and try and make it into a square a shape as we can. And then we're using some blue again and just going to create some trim around the top. And the same again with the wheel, the star and the little fluffy steam cloudy type things. Now this is the best part I think about this cake topper. As you can see it's lovely and it looks nice but I'm going to make the, all the little tiny details really stand out. And how I'm going to do this is by using some light blue edible dust. And you're just going to take a small brush and dust the powder on to all those little details that you've made. Putting, them, putting some around the top parts of the funnel, in with the little white stars, around the top of the wheels, and you can see it really helps all those little pieces stand out. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, don't forget to... You got your well, 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 well. You got your well, 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 well. Well, guys, that's it for me for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a little like. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now. I'll see you next week.